Now, just to finish off on this, really, I've got some stuff that I literally started writing a paper yesterday and I finished it this morning. Uh, I'm not even joking, I had the data, but I managed to knock it together. What, what I've done for this, and you guys are the first people to see this, is to then try and work out whether athletes are actually using their mass effectively. Um, and so what I've done is produce a quadrant scatter chart where you've got the average body mass and the average takeoff momentum for a group of forwards and backs in professional rugby league. So the forwards are the black circles and the backs are the uh, clear circles. And what we want really is if the athletes are heavy, they've got a higher mass, they're going to be in the high momentum category with respect to takeoff momentum. And you can see that this takeoff momentum is largely dictated by body mass. There's a linear relationship and 75% of the takeoff momentum scores are explained just by the athlete's body mass. The remaining 25% is explained by their takeoff velocity. All right, but you've got some guys in this situation here, if we really tease this out, where there's a cluster of forwards that are falling into this high body mass but low momentum category. And so the reason that I've started to plot this data is because if we're trying to utilize momentum as a way of identifying uh, athletes whose sport relies on them being able to use their mass as an asset in their sport, uh, we want to identify those that are heavy, uh, but perhaps, perhaps aren't utilizing that mass effectively. And what you can then do in this situation is tease out the absolute beast. Like for example, you've got a person here that, let me just move this a second, is about 118 kilos and still jumping 41 centimeters. That is somebody that you don't want to be standing in front of when you're running at you. And then equally, we've got some of the lighter uh, backs that are in this low body mass, still reasonably heavy to, by normal standards, but for rugby league, they're on the lighter side for body mass, but high momentum because you jump in 47 centimeters, your momentum can be higher because you're very much more speed capable. And 47 centimeters, by the way, places them in about the top 3% for typical uh, professional rugby league counter movement jump heights. So what we then want to do is then look at the reasons why these athletes have got a heavy body mass, but they're actually showing low momentum. All right. And it might be that these guys have a higher proportion of fat mass than is desirable. And so maybe just losing some fat mass alone would automatically push them up into this upper right hand quadrant where you've got a higher mass and high momentum, or it might be a weakness issue, or it might even be a, a strategy issue in the counter movement jump. And so you'd want to dig deeper at that point. But generally speaking, we're just working on some stuff. It's very much in its infancy to try and establish how we can take this metric forward and try and hopefully create more meaning for rugby league practitioners and other collision sport coaches uh, when it comes to them actually uh, presenting their data back to their athletes and coaches.